Good afternoon, this is Matthew Lindsay with Precision Home Group here in Anchorage, Alaska. Coming to you today it's to talk to you about real estate investing basics. It's Thursday, every Thursday I come to you live to talk to you about real estate investing. So today we're talking to you about beginner mistakes. We have five tips today, five mistakes to avoid that we're going to go over for your first deal, maybe your second deal, or even your third deal. So let's just jump straight into it. If you have any questions, do let me know. Put them in the comments. Let me know. I will personally respond to you after the video and get back to you. So number one today is not financially prepared. Um, you need more money. That's just the bottom line. You're not financially prepared. We have a lot of people trying to get into uh, multifamily, residential multifamily here. Um, that's going to be your duplexes, your triplexes, and your fourplexes. And people try to over leverage by do, utilizing VA loans, FHA loans, and things like that. They get into those properties and they're not cash flowing. Very rarely after debt service and after utilities and all expenses with a FHA or a VA loan, very rarely do you actually cash flow. You may break even because for instance, in a fourplex, you're actually losing a unit because you have to owner occupy. So now you only have three units that are producing income for you. And that is just about enough to cover debt service and cover utilities and all the other expenses. So what we like to see is people go in with a lot more money with, uh, you know, being able to put around 20% down, like see 20, 25% down. Um, that way you can utilize all units you can actually have income coming in from all of them so you need more money there's gonna be we're gonna talk about this also when we talk about repairs but two is bad location you can find a great deal on some multifamily properties especially here in Anchorage in certain parts of town but you can never change location you could church up your your investment all you want you can put granite in there you can put, you know, whatever you want, a brand new roof, new windows, new carpet, new flooring, new hardwood, whatever it is that you put in there, you can make it look amazing and try to charge as much as you want. But at the end of the day, you can never change location. So keep that in mind. If you go in and you have all these big dreams of, you know, raising rents because you put so much updates in there, just realize that you're also going to be basing that on location. So that was number two. Number three, taking others' words for either resale or the rental income. So what I mean by that is you're not doing your own due diligence. You're not working with either your realtor, you're not working with whoever you're working with to purchase this property to actually do your own homework. A lot of people, a lot of listing agents, um, Nothing saying I'm not saying anything bad about listing agents All I'm saying is do your own homework so that you can come up with your own numbers and actually base that on facts Base that on the research that you've done There are some inflated numbers out there and you want to make sure that you're getting yourself protecting yourself in your investment So when you go in to actually purchase this deal and they're telling you that this could get a certain amount of rent per unit well, let's see the books, right? You wanna see three years backdated of books to see, hey, is what they're telling me the truth? Is this area gonna demand that kind of rent? And if not, then you need to base that on actually what is coming in the door and see if the numbers make sense then. If the numbers make sense, worst case scenario, and they still make sense, you're good to go, right? But if not, you don't wanna be left there with a bad investment and having to pay out of pocket. So number four is no accurate cost on repairs, right? We talked about um, you don't have enough money, so that goes into down payments. That goes into making sure you have enough to close. It also goes into repairs needed. You may not know, you know, you may know what repairs are needed, but you may not know the costs of those. Do you have a trusted contractor? Do you have trusted relationships with people in that industry to actually give you good solid numbers that you can go on? And are you putting a percentage on top of that? Are you making sure you have enough money to make it through the transaction, make it through the repairs and get everything done on time? Last one here is emotion versus logic. When you walk into a multifamily investment, when you walk into any type of real estate investment, 
you need to be thinking numbers. You need to be thinking anything you put numbers to, you need to be thinking logically, not emotionally. Don't get attached to it. Yes, there's got to be some type of draw, some type of energy you feel with that property. If it doesn't feel right, you need to go in and see why that is. But at the end of the day, you need to make a logical decision on that investment, not emotional, right? Step number six, the last final bonus step. Again, you need more money. You need to be able to put 20, 20 plus percent down to make numbers work, to make sure that you're cash flowing and to make sure that this is a great investment for you. So that has been the five tips today. Five tips to watch out for, five mistakes to avoid in your first deal, your second deal, your third deal, five tips to avoid making.